What's up guys, welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm talking Solo, A Star Wars Story. Let's talk about this film. Now, going in, I was a little bit more hyped for the film, not gonna lie. When the film was announced, I was not excited for it. I didn't believe we needed another Han Solo thing. I believe just go do something different in this anthology world. But as the trailers progressed out, I was a little bit more excited for it. I did get have some adamancy with Ron Howard coming on to direct it. Even though I think Ron Howard's a brilliant director, the last few films he's really done haven't hit the ball for me. But... Coming in, I was excited. I liked Alden being the pick for Han Solo. I wasn't sold on him yet, but I did like the actor in general. He was the best part of Hail Caesar. Of course, you also had Donald Glover coming in to play as Lando. You have Khaleesi herself playing Korra. Tobias Becker is being played by Woody Harrelson. You have, I mean, you have a fantastic cast in here. Thandie Newton's also in here. John Favreau. I mean, the cast is brilliant. So, you know, how is Han Solo overall? Is, it, is this the movie I should be worried about that's going to ruin the Star Wars franchise? Absolutely not, actually. Uh, this film was fantastic. It, it was really good. And I, I mean that. It actually blew past my expectations and I ended up really enjoying this film and I'm going to go see it again opening weekend. I didn't expect to say that, to be honest. I, I expected just a fun Star Wars film, but I actually got more than that. The thing about this film is that it actually carries a lot of layers of a gritty kind of crime movie too. Not just like the Western feel you get from the trailer and the heist kind of film, because if you guys know, I'm a sucker for heist films. The thing about Han Solo in general, the Solo, a Star Wars story, also carries layers of that underground, underworld, crime boss kind of thing that we get in throughout the other kind of tad bits that we get throughout the shows or the movies or even back in the Star Wars Legends series. You get some of that in here, and I really liked what they did with that. I mean, the layers of the underworld and all the crime bosses and stuff was a nice little addition to what this film comes to be. But the reason I'm saying this is more than just a Western feel movie, because you do have those Western vibes in here. The thing that brings it all together, really, is the heart of the cast. The heart of the cast is fantastic, and the grittiness that Ron Howard put into these action sequences. I'll go as far to say that this film was a little bit more gritty in the action side, even more grittier than Rogue One was, especially one of the opening sequences. One of the opening sequences was like, wow, th this feels like a war zone, and I loved it. The action comes throughout this film. I mean, the way the action was filmed, the way Ron Howard really swayed and moved the camera was brilliant. I, I really liked it, and I loved what he did. It, it felt like a Ron Howard film in a sense, but also felt like a Star Wars adventure with a different flair to it, and it had this vibrant energy to it that really carried throughout the film that kept the pacing going and going and going and to a certain extent once I heard the runtime of this film I was like oh my god it's almost over two hours but you don't feel it it just is a fun adventure just going and chugging along and you're enjoying every single bit of it and to be honest I do have some cons for this film so before I get really into more and more of my pros I do want to say my cons because they're really minor in fact um one of the cons I really I didn't really get into the villain of this film the villain is played by Paul Bettany Paul Bettany is a fantastic actor I just wasn't feeling his villain per se but the other big issue i have with this film and i also have this issue with rogue one is no opening crawl i i didn't expect one in here but the way the film opens up you could tell you needed an opening crawl just like rogue one but this film entitles itself to be an opening crawl because it kind of has one but it doesn't. When you see the film, you'll understand what I'm saying, but I really do think an opening crawl would have very much helped this film out, just in a tad bit and kind of getting some more into the Star Wars feel. Besides those two cons, really, I enjoyed this film immensely. The Alden, anyone has problems with Alden. When you start watching this film, it just fades in that this guy's Han Solo. It just it just fades in that he's a younger version of Han Solo, and I'm not even joking on that. It really he he is a he does a great job as Han Solo. I I mean he is Han Solo. I, Her, nothing will ever take away from Harrison Ford, but he did a really good job. It wasn't just an impersonation. He it felt like a young Han Solo, and I, I love that. It didn't distract me at all throughout the whole film. And even going to Donald Glover, he is so suave and swayed, and his swagger as Lando Calrissian is brilliant. I loved Lando in this film. And his little buddy L3, this robot, awesome. Stole a bunch of the moments in here. Really, the other two big standouts in here is Tobias Becker's Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson's fantastic in here. Great addition here, but Korra, played by Khaleesi. Um... I don't know what to say more about Korra. Uh, she was a surprise hit for me. I thought she was just going to be like this typical girl who's kind of like this little love interest to Han Solo. And she's more than that. She's actually nothing that I even thought she was going to be. She brought a lot of flair and energy to her role that you didn't know what was behind her eyes, but you always knew there was something behind there. And I loved seeing where her character ended up going throughout this film. And of course, if you're one of those people who have issues that Chewbacca isn't in the new trilogy as much, Trust me, you get a ton of Chewbacca in here, and I loved seeing that. Chewbacca is 
great. I loved seeing more of Chewbacca in here and his dynamic between him and Han and how they meet. It, it's just so wonderful to say the least. Did I already mention how beautiful this film looks? I mean, the cinematographer from Arrival came on to do this film and it just shows. Like, the cinematography is brilliant. The score is great. And I will even say, I know Lawrence Kasdan, this is the last so Star Wars script that he wrote. And it, it's amazing. I, I mean, Kasdan did a fantastic job. He's one of the ones that knows Han Solo the best, and you feel it in here. I think that's a really a lot of the reason why Alden fades in as the Han Solo character. When it starts, you know, you, you kind of fade in and just forget that it's a different actor. You fade in, and all you see is Han Solo, just like the first time you ever saw Harrison Ford on the screen as Harrison Ford. You don't see him. You see Han Solo. And that just goes to all these different characters. You don't see Donald Glover. You see Lando Carissian. You don't see Khaleesi. You see Korra. And you don't see Woody Harrelson. You see Tobias Becker. It's a great feeling to see all that and even be able to say that i really enjoyed solo a star wars story it's a gritty fun swashbuckling western film in the star wars universe with some layers of the underworld and crime bosses in there that even adds to the depth of this world that makes you want to see stuff it sets up stuff that even if they were to go and do another han solo sequel to this film and continue showing more stuff in his past life i'd be so down to or whatever other anthology films they might even be setting up throughout this film i think there's a ton that they can be setting up that really just gets me into the field to see another anthology film sooner than later also bringing in a wonderful score great cinematography fantastic gritty action that surprised me at every angle of how wonderful it was filmed and just a fantastic paced film besides the opening crawl and really the villain not working out for me Solo: a star wars story is a fantastic film it's greatly directed and i again i cannot wait to see this film again i had a ton of fun with this film blew past my low expectations and really solidified itself as a film that Coming in saying, I didn't need a Han Solo film. I'm glad we got a Han Solo film. I think we needed this, and now I totally understand why Disney made this film. I totally understand why. And maybe some people will feel different about that, but for me, they, they proved to me that we, we needed this film, and it, it really furthered the character story arc more, and I loved it. But with all that said, I'm going to give Solo, a Star Wars story, a B+. Honestly, this rating might even go up the more viewings I get with this film, and that's and that's to tell the truth. But right now, I feel very comfortable saying a B plus after sitting on this film for a couple hours, talking with my friends, talking with other critics about this film and what they thought about this film. It looks like a lot of people are starting to enjoy Han Solo, and I hope you guys enjoy Solo: Star Wars Story just as much as I did. Of course, guys, the most important thing here is to hear about what your guys' thoughts are of Solo: a Star Wars Story. So make sure to comment down below, guys. Tell me what you guys are excited for. Are you not excited for it anymore? Are you pumped to see this film, or do you just like I don't care about Star Wars? I want to hear about it down below and also guys make sure to look out for a ranking of all the star wars films coming out the week of han so obviously i was very lucky to see this film early so you'll be getting that that week so make sure to look out for it and also guys if you guys want to talk more movies of course make sure that like and subscribe button especially if you're new so you guys don't miss any of my other videos make sure to go hit up all my social media links because i mean there we can talk even more geeky stuff and of course the most important thing is go hit up sandwich john films down below right there you can get some advanced movie screens movie news and movie reviews and you guys never want to miss out on that so guys i have a really good feeling about how i'm going to end this review and of course it's saying this you guys all have a great rest of your day can't wait to talk star wars stuff with you and of course until next time stay classy